Hi, this is Jeff with Throw University, and today we're talking about hip to shoulder separation. We got my friend Joe here, and he's going to demonstrate. Hip to shoulder separation is come to foot plan. It's when your belt buckle is facing the catcher, and your shoulders are pinned back. And from this position, it's like a coil uncoiling the throw. That creates a lot of velocity. The first thing is mobility drills to improve thoracic spine rotation to be able to get into this position. So lay down on your side. You prop your knee up on a medicine ball, water jug, whatever you can find to keep your spine neutral. You're going to start a little lower and you're going to keep your arm locked out. You're going to slowly go back, taking your back shoulder blade down to the ground and back over again for 10 reps on each side. Right like that. Under control, not flying through it. Back shoulder blade goes down to the ground on both sides, and you flip over to the other side. The next one will be a drill. And hip to shoulder separation is not really a thing you can think of as you're throwing. It's kind of one of those things you got to build through muscle memory by doing drills. So the first drill is called the kneeling torque drill. Come over here a little bit. You're going to be on both knees. If you're a right hand thrower, your right knee is going to be a little bit in front of your left. If you're a left hand thrower, your left knee is going to be a little bit in front of your right, slightly. So what this does is, having this knee a little bit in front of your left, it locks in your hips. So you want to keep this hip straight while just turning your upper body. Right like that. Now the last drill, once you do this, is the standing torque drill. So Joe will stand up. And instead of throwing to your partner with your foot like this and stepping and throwing, we're going to step with our foot straight, stride out and throw. So go through a slow motion. Don't throw the ball. Right like that. Now he's going to throw the ball. So he's stepping with this foot. It locks in this hip. So when you stride out, all you can do is it keeps your whole body straight, and all you can do is turn your shoulders and throw. And it really works that hip to shoulder separation. Right like that. Thank you.